Yinti's mother had cleaned out the jilla with the nakolan so that fresh water could come in. Yinti and Kana sat under a tree on the sand hill with their mother. Soon a wild flock of birds came down to drink at this waterhole. It was the only one for a long way. Yinti was camping with his mother and his little brother named Kana. The mother and the little brother were hungry for some birds. Yinti get me some birds. Okay. Yinti at once seen an old man catching birds in a waterhole, so he knew what to do. He went down to the jilla with his mum. She got a handful of mud which she rubbed all over his body, his arms and even his head. Kana and his mother collected leafy branches from the bushes. They put these into the water hole to cover Yinti. When they had finished, Yinti could not be seen at all from the outside. Yinti's mother and brother went back to their camp and left Yinti sitting by himself in the water hole. Before long, the birds started to come back to the jilla for water. They didn't notice Yinti sitting in the water as still as a log. A bird sat on his outstretched hand. He quickly pulled it under the water. <laughs> then another bird settled and Yinti did the same thing again. The bodies floated up to the surface. Kana and his mother came down from the sand hill and picked up all the dead birds and threw them out to one side. The woman and her two boys carried them up to their camp. Their mother had made a big fire. When it had burnt down, they dug a shallow pit next to the fire and put some of the coals in it. Then they put all the birds, big and small, into the cooking pit. They were all hungry.
Yente had caught all the meat, and he knew his mother was pleased with him. Yente was proud of having provided for them all. They all had a good feed. <laughs>